Hey everybody, I'm Shane Mason and this is Mason Boys Outdoors. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're building a bait trap. This here is the Z trap. This, this trap actually uses a fish's natural instincts of staying next to structure to trap it. And bait fish love to stay right next to structure. So it'll stay right next to this trap and come around and follow this follow the side into the funnel and be funneled right into the trap and be caught. And they say this trap here will outfish similar traps that actually use bait. And so come with me, let's put this thing together. I'm gonna make a 24 by 24 inch square with uh, one foot walls. And then I'm gonna tie it all together with zip ties. So come on. Let's build us a perch trap. So you, you want to roll it where the roll is pulling downward so you can lay it down just like that. If not, you'll be, you'll be fighting it the whole time. Got one, uh, one foot marked right here. That's how high my sides are gonna be. I know it's a long, tedious process, but you can catch a lot of bait while you're sitting on the couch or while you're sleeping or why you at work. It's gonna help me out a lot catfishing. Here's my one foot section and I'm gonna attach it to this side. And I'm gonna zip tie it right here on the corner and I'm gonna go every 10 squares and put a zip tie. That's my game plan. I'm going to lay, lay them end to end, and then I'm going to zip tie the ends together, just like that. Then I'm going to go all the way to the other end, and zip tie this one down. Okay, I got the first wall zip tied to the bottom, and now I'm going to zip tie the second wall, and then we're going to go on the inside making the triangles. We're gonna to have to sit down and figure out how to actually build those. Let me look at my diagram. This is what I'm thinking. This is the Z trap right here. And I gotta build the side with the triangle. So we got a six inch there on the left side at the top and then a 13 inch straight run. At the very point of the triangle, there'll be a, a one inch space and then it comes back 16 inches and then another eight inches on the bottom and it's opposite either side all right this is what we're fixing to do now we're fixing to take this one foot piece and i'm going to tie it into the corner i'm going to tie it in all the way up uh, this one side and eight inches out here and then we're going to make our uh 13 inch run this away. All right, that's gonna be our next step. Daddy. Yes, sir. Hi. On this bottom base, measure eight inches. All right, all the way on the bottom like this. See where eight inches is at? It's gonna be right here. We're gonna Put a zip tie right here on eight inches. Made, all right, guys, this is the corner that we just made. Just stood the two sides up. And now we're going to come out six inches this way. And then straight out 13 inches. Then over one inch. And then back 16 inches to, um, to eight inch mark over this way. And then on out to the corner. All right, guys, we've gotten this far. I've gotten the uh, sides up and the triangles in, and you can see how it's going to uh, work together. And now all I have to do is put the top on, and on the entrances, I'm going to cut two inch and a half slots. All right, guys, this is the finished product. This is the Z trap or the N trap, whichever you prefer, however it fits for you. Uh, and 
that's the finished product. All I have to do now is put a door in here and um, I'll attach it with zip ties, hold it down with a bungee cord or a string. And I'm gonna cut entrances at the end of the funnels here. I'm gonna put one on top and one on bottom, uh, about a half inch wide, about an inch and a half in height. And that'll be it. So if you will guys, uh, subscribe to the channel and um, I appreciate you guys watching. And always remember, catch a mess and leave the rest. God bless you. We'll see you on the next video.